Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are dealing with the mega trust document. The mega trust document has, well, it's called a confidentiality and disclosure clause or an NDA, non-disclosure clause. Let me give you an example of this NDA. And it was, I wasn't trying to call it an NDA. I just realized that's what it was when I completed it. There are two clauses that I just added to the agreement, which makes it very close to a Cayman Island and what is that? Nevis Kitts Island Trust. We have a Nevis Kitts Island Trust. And so I'm not even using those as templates. I just know that the clauses that we're putting in are similar to the clauses that are put into a Cayman Island Trust and a Nevis Kitts Trust was set up pretty similar to the Cayman Island Trust. So a lot of the provisions in those instruments are inclusive here, but we've added a couple other clauses. So I can give you a little listen, a little, 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 little taste. Give me one second. Confidentiality and disclosure. No party to this trust agreement, save the natural person, shall have the authority and slash or the right and slash or the capacity and or the privilege and or the pre-sold ordination, including their estate, the United States and slash or any of its representatives and slash or instrumentalities, and any of the other involved entities, shall divulge any information related to the trust, its terms, or its operations to the public or any other party slash entity without the express written consent of the trustee. The trustee shall have the sole authority to grant such consent, which may also be given verbally if deemed expedient by the trustee in their capacity representing the interests of the trust. This authority is exclusive to the trustee and may not be delegated except as provided at next. The arbitrator, as designated in the arbitration clause of this agreement, shall have the authority to permit disclosure only after the full implementation of the arbitration process and its associated parameters. This is the extent of this provision and its requirements as stipulated herein with respect to the aforementioned paragraph. Case Citations First Options of Chicago Incorporated v. Kaplan, 514 U.S. 938, 1995. Establishes that parties can agree to arbitrate arbitrability, giving arbitrators the authority to decide on their own jurisdiction. Okay, basically these are basic cases. First option is a well-known arbitration. The Dean Witter case is a well-known arbitration case. Okay, the Green Tree is a well-known arbitration case. This is just so that you guys know that the arbitration provisions are in conformity with arbitration laws and rules. And so we just incorporated certain other clauses so that the arbitration is the exclusive jurisdiction for this trust agreement. And that's what you want. Judges don't have any say so over the arbitration provisions. Now we've added about three more clauses today. Sorry, I had to take my earpiece off, so I apologize to y'all. We've added about three more clauses today, five yesterday. Things that we knew were missing. And some of them that, you know, through a little bit of inspiration, I came up with. And so because we've added these clauses, we think that this document is just about done. I just have to go ahead and make sure it's cohesive. Okay? And once I do that, then we will work on the mega setback, which is the same thing, but it's going to be some differences, okay? So we'll get this to you guys, the program and everything, but right now you should be doing your research on arbitration. You should be doing your research on trust. Look, go to satcom911.com, satcom911.com. All you got to do is S-A-T-C-O-M-M, put that in Google, and put 911 after it. It'll take you right to the site, okay? We work very hard to make sure that we pop up there, one of the first ones, okay? Satcom911.com. And click on the black button, start your own program, and learn about trust. Once you understand what a trust is, how a trust works, then you'll understand how this trust works. Okay, that's just the beginning. Then you got to understand about arbitration. These cases right here, when you get this, ladies and gentlemen, we put the case citations in here purposely. And like I said, these are well-known arbitration cases. This document is 47 pages long. Won't be able to reduce it by much because it was 44 pages long until I did the what I just did without any these two clauses. But we got to make sure it's solidified so it's a complete document. No joke, no complaining, no playing around. All right, that's that. Let's go to the hop. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the $400 billion lawsuit. Many of you don't understand the lawsuit. We're sorry. We gave you the links in the last video. 
to the lawsuit. When you get it, go all the way down to the bottom and look at how many defendants there are. 150. That means, and because we brought up RICO conspiracy and we brought it up several times, okay, pay attention. IRS tax topic 453 tells you you do not need to go to court if a judgment from the court will be unattainable. Well, the courts have not been allowing anybody to win against the Federal Reserve and the entire time it's been in existence. So that means you don't have to. And if the Federal Reserve doesn't have to give you your 1099C because there is no penalties for it, then you don't have to give them their 1099C because there's no penalties for it. Do it in your capacity as a bank. Now, I'm not trying to tell you to do what they do. I'm trying to tell you that everything that we're doing is the law. They just never thought anybody, well, they, they knew that it was a possibility that somebody would come up with this, but they just never thought that it would be now. No, of course they knew it would be now. That's why the system is operating the way it is. Okay? So, don't get stupid. Number one rule. KYSS, keep it simple. Stupid. Don't get stupid. Some of you are very stupid. I know, I know, you're going to think that that was a harsh thing to say. No, it isn't. Because I explicitly told people, don't contact SACOM and don't contact me regarding the lawsuit. And people have been contacting me all day. Stupid is what stupid does. Forrest, where's your mama at? No, no, where's your mama at, Forrest? Man, she says it way better than I can. So, I have to say, don't get stupid. Because there's too many stupid people out there. That's why things don't work. That's why we have to put the clauses in the document. Because I knew that there would be at least one <clears throat> N-I-G-G-A to come in and mess things up for everybody. I knew it would have to be one, and it turns out there were at least 15 of you. I don't care if you get offended. Just imagine how offended I am that I say don't do something and you do it anyway. And it's not your choice to do it. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It is very tiring trying to help people when people don't understand what help is. Look. For the first time in history, people have come to understand tax credits. You're simply just writing off the debt. You don't even have to contact anybody because we're doing all of that. We're notifying all the parties of the debt, of the outstanding debt. Do you realize that if one person did all 150 1099Cs, if one person did it, just pay attention. Now, we're not trying to tell you to do this. You cannot balance the budget on your own. You cannot do it. That is economic terrorism. You can never have the intent, and this lawsuit was not created with the intent. You all know this because we've been working on this. We can't call it the defrauded homeowners of America. No, 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 no. They went through a whole lot of trouble of blocking that one. Well, now you ain't blocking this one, you ignorant mother. I'm sorry. <sighs> we'll saw. They think they're smarter than me. You can't be smarter than me when my knowledge comes from a different source. How in the world can you be smarter than that? I told you, I am the presumption killer. So before anybody says that I'm trying to balance budgets and all of that stuff, make sure you all understand. I've been talking about the Defrauded Homeowners of America lawsuit whew, since 2011. We have websites and videos talking about it. So ain't nobody trying to do nothing. It wasn't until Saturday. Well, Friday or Saturday. I forgot what day, but I believe it was this past Saturday the 1st that I realized, wait a minute. <laughs> All the people who are signing onto this lawsuit, they simply just get the right off the deck. It doesn't matter whether what the court says or not. They still simply get to get the credit. And if they write it off on their taxes, they're $400 billion in the positive. Nobody ever goes to jail for tax evasion because we, as a group, have the taxes to assign to our brother, our sister, our mother, our uncle, our cousin, our niece, our neighbor. We get to help our neighbor. Like I said, you ain't never seen nothing like this. There will be other people who will try to mimic, who will try to act like, you know, 
they can do just as much. I am, I applaud you, implore you, and invite you to match it. Okay, you'll see it ain't easy. Pimping ain't easy. It ain't easy. But why not at least try to help your neighbor? Can anybody help a neighbor greater than 400 billion times 150? Go ahead. See if you can do the math in your head. And you write it off. That's what you're doing. You're killing all of whatever debt you may have ever owed. And your future generations, just like they took all of the gold, taking all of the monies you could have ever have gained, well, now you get to erase all of that debt you've been collecting. Talk about gaining control of one's securities. And with this trust agreement, <laughs> now you get to do a Chapter 11. That's what the trust agreement is designed for. It literally takes all of your securities and puts it in one place. Remember. You have to gain control of all of your securities. Who knew that you could put it all in a trust and make it the trust res? Like I said, this trust does way too much. It is the most fortified, the most inclusive, and the most exclusive trust we've ever put together. We have done some trust. We've done some pretty good work. But, and I say we, because can't get myself any credit for it. I, I, you know, I, I got the original idea and everything from a different source but i give the staff their credit because they're the ones who've been allowing me to breathe so that i could do this and put this together i told them two years ago this is what i was going to be working on for you guys i told them that i'm tired of them acting like we don't exist so it's time for us to get to their attention okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to tell y'all to hold on because we're going to get this going Take care of yourselves, everyone. Stay out of trouble. And don't be stupid, please. Just follow the instructions. Many of you are talking about, well, I can't fill out the fund because it won't let me. That means, guess what you have to do? (laughs) You have to download the form. Fill it in by hand. Need your signature on it anyway. And then mail it out. We gave you the address. I don't know why people don't see in the description that we gave you the address. Lord have mercy. It is the district court out of D.C. The name of the court is on the title. I said it in the video. People are acting like they didn't hear me. Holla if you hear me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all take care. Stay out of trouble. And please, don't be stupid. Gotta go.